This is Kaushik. Welcome to the short video on how to prepare and present a good speech. Imagine you're meeting your long lost friend after several years. You are anticipating the occasion of meeting him and you want to make that experience even more memorable by presenting him something that he likes, choosing a gift that he always cared about. And this effort of yours is all hinged on the moment when you will meet him and present the gift. And at the end of that event, if you find your friend delighted, elated, exuberant, extremely thankful and happy for the gift, you've done your part. Speech is a gift that you can give to your audience. G for good topic. I've heard several times people complain that topic selection is very daunting. Why is that? There are umpteen topics for you to choose from. But make sure the topic that you select is something that you can relate to, that you can connect to. It could be with the purpose of understanding the topic yourself. Or it could be a topic that you are an expert on. But unless and until the topic that you choose is dear to you, just like the gift that you chose for your friend is something that you loved giving, that's when you can make a mark. Also, understand the level of the audience. Understand the requirement of the audience. Accordingly, you can come up with a topic that you can work on. Start with a good topic. Decide on I. I for intent. What is the intent of your gift, of your speech? At the start of your talk, the audience is at a certain level. At the end of your talk, the audience is going to be at a different level. So what is that movement that you want to achieve? It could be to persuade the audience to take some action. It could be to inspire the audience. It could be just to increase their awareness of, on a certain topic. It could be just to increase their appreciation of you to be an expert on a topic. The intent could be many, but you need to be precisely clear on what the intent is. Only then would you be able to pen down the F, F for flow, the flow of your talk. There are several recipes available suggested by various experts. One recipe that I've heard often is you start your speech, you state what you want to say, then you say it and you conclude with what you said. That is one approach that you could take. The other approach that I am a fan of is recommended by Dan and Chip Heath. This is a book that I recommend you to read. It's called Make to Stick. In this book, they prescribe a method called success. Success for you to ensure your speech or your idea or your content sticks on the mind of the audience. What is success? S for simple. Whatever the topic may be, unless you present it at a very simple level, the audience will just lose interest. Make sure that your flow is written such a way is that it abstracts the complexness, complexity and brings out the content in a very simple way. S for simple, U for unexpected. Audience is giving their time to you and that's a privilege that you need to do justice to. Unless you have something unexpected, the audience will lose interest. You need to keep their minds hooked on to what next, what next, so that unexpectedness, unexpectedness should be there in your flow, in your structure, in your content. C for credible. Before that, C stands for, the other C stands for concrete. You can have tons of information, but unless they are backed up by real data, unless they are concrete, unless they are something that the audience does not believe is just hogwash, the content or your speech will not fly. Make sure it's concrete. And the next C is of credible. You shouldn't ever sound preachy. You are there giving a talk, using the privileged time that the audience has given you. You need to honor that and respect that. And you need to make the audience feel 
that the audience is walking side by side with you in the journey of your speech. So that credibility can be achieved only when you are able to relate or express events that the audience feels, yes, that makes sense. Yes, that is indeed true. So you need to tap into their belief system and bring out content in a way that the audience feels that your information is credible. And you can also back it up with other additional secondary research data that you find that will make sure that your content is credible. E for emotional. Nothing leaves an indelible mark in the minds of the audience than emotions. Have certain section of your content devoted to bringing out certain fine emotions in the minds of the audience. And if you can achieve that, your speech is going to be great. And the final S is that of story. Remember how I started today's tutorial with a story. Though the story was abstract, if you can connect, if you can bring out certain personal incidents or stories that are known in the world but have a very profound lesson to connect with, then that story is what the audience can potentially find meaning to. So this is your success. There is no, the last S is not, there is nothing particular to the last S, but this success formula is what Chip and Dan Heath recommend in their book, Made to Stick. This is something that you can try for your F flow. And the ultimate or the final piece of your gift, T, is your talk. Talk is a very, is an independent subject altogether. But in the interest of this video, I will just browse through or run through certain elements of talk. Talk could be your voice, your pitch, your attire, the way you're groomed. It could be your body language. Are you just staticated in one place or are you moving around freely? What, what is this level of confidence that you're exhi exhibiting? Because remember, when you're on the stage, when you're on the podium, you are a leader. The audience is there to support you. We might have butterflies in our stomach being feeling nervous. But remember, the audience is there sitting to look forward to what you want to present. So that connect, that make sure that you take advantage of that basic paradigm of the audience wanting to receive some information from what you want to speak. What you want to speak. So that is about T for talk. And that's a whole independent subject that I would like to cover in my next video. So remember, it's a gift that you want to give it to your audience. Speech is a gift that you want to present to your audience. Make sure it's a memorable one. Thank you.